A bandicoot is a small marsupial. It's about rabbit size. It eats invertebrates, which it digs up from the ground. Bandicoots seem to be in decline in Tasmania. They are virtually extinct on the mainland and we've noticed that the population has dropped out through the midlands of Tasmania. Um, but we've still got a few hot spots so we're trying to work out what they need for habitat and forage um, and yeah, just track them and see, see what they're doing. So the first thing that we do is we pick a spot that is normally close to a bit of cover so that the back of the trap can at least have a little bit of shade. We also make sure that the traps are covered in a hessian sack so because these animals are nocturnal and we check them during the first hours of the day we try and make sure that it's nice and dark and cosy in there for them and also protect them from predators. Uh, we set the traps with a um, peanut butter and rolled oats bait and um, then see what we get in the morning. It could be a possum, it could be a paddy melon or, a, or a, hopefully bandicoot, eastern barred bandicoot. Joe is currently trying to attach GPS loggers to the bandicoot's tails so we can hopefully get a feel of how they're using the habitat and where they're sleeping at night, how far they travel, that kind of thing. If it hasn't been captured before, we'll microchip it so that we can identify it if we've trapped again. If it has got a tag on since the, the last round, then we note that and we can download the data. Um, and we take measurements of the animal to see whether it's adult and check whether it's male or female. The tags have also got VHF. If we don't actually catch the bandicoot with a tag on, then we can go and find roughly where it is. The males I've found will travel within an area of around about 10, um, eight to 10 hectares. The females are more about two and a half hectares. That's just on our preliminary data. <laughs> 